My name is Matt Allegretti from the Health Workforce Technical Assistance Center. The objective of this training video is to demonstrate how to use ArcGIS to add zip code level Medicaid enrollment data to a primary care health professional shortage area, which is more commonly known as a primary care HIPSA. A common challenge faced by researchers is how to merge geographic data sets that aren't compatible. For example, let's say you have two data sets. One is at the zip code level and the other is at the county level. In this case, Schenectady County. However, the boundaries of zip codes and counties sometimes overlap. For example, only part of the zip code is within Schenectady County as is indicated by the dark blue shaded area. You can see that this particular zip code includes parts of Albany, Montgomery, and Schoharie counties in addition to Schenectady. Whereas, the Medicaid enrollment data we are using in this example is at a zip code level. Primary care HIPSAs may consist of counties, minor civil divisions, and census tracts, and none of these geographic units align with zip codes. So how do we link the two? In ArcGIS, there are two steps to add zip code level data to a primary care HIPSA. First, you will need to join the Medicaid enrollment data stored at the zip code level to the zip code layer. Second, you will need to join the zip code layer to the primary care HIPSA layer. For our example, we're going to use three different data sets. The first data set contains counts of individuals enrolled in Medicaid by zip codes in New York. This information is saved in an Excel file. This particular data set was obtained from Salient, an agency that collects Medicaid claims data in New York. The second data set is a zip code layer called a feature class. This data set contains information about the geographic features of zip codes, including their shapes and size, and along with other attributes. The third data set is a feature class of primary care HIPSAs in New York. This data was obtained directly from HRSA's data warehouse. In ArcGIS, you can see your individual datasets in the table of contents that appears on the left-hand side of the screen. Let's take a closer look at the Medicaid enrollment dataset. Simply right-click and select Open to view. You can see from the table that this dataset has two attributes. The first column shows the location represented by the zip code. The second column lists the counts of individuals within each zip code that are eligible for Medicaid. The second dataset is New York zip codes. The zip code dataset, which is a feature class, contains several attributes in addition to the zip code. The object ID in the first column is a unique ID assigned by the software. The shape column indicates that this layer is a polygon, which means that each record in this table is displayed as an area on the map. If we go to our third dataset, Primary Care HIPSAs in New York, you'll see that it also has multiple attributes, including object ID, shape, and the status of each HIPSA, among others. So how do we join these datasets? Since our Medicaid data is at the zip code level, we first need to link it to the zip code layer before we can join it with the primary care HIPSA layer. Before you start, it's important to make sure that the variable you are using to join both datasets are saved in the same format. That is, you cannot have the variable saved as a text variable in one table and as a numeric variable in the other table. You will notice here that the format of the zip code is in the same in both datasets. So let's get started. To join the Medicaid data with the zip code layer, right click in the table of contents on the name of the layer that you want to add data to. In our case, it will be New York zip codes. Then click Join and Relates, and select Join. This opens the Join Data dialog box. Choose the option to join based on attributes. In the first field that's labeled Choose the field in this layer that the join will be based on, we'll select Zip Code. In the second field, Choose the table to join this layer, we'll make sure the Medicaid Excel table is selected. In the third field, we'll select Recipient Zip Code. This is the field in the Medicaid Excel table that the join will be based on. Make sure that Keep All Records is checked and then click OK. This type of join will add all the columns in the table to our target layer or the zip code layer. 
Now you can see that the attributes from the table are joined to the zip code layer. However, the joined data is only temporary, meaning that if you close the software, the joined data will be lost. Therefore, we need to save the layer after the join was performed. To do that, right-click on New York zip codes. Select Data, then click Export Data, and select a folder in which you would like to save the new layer. In our case, we will save the layer in a file named New York. Name the file and click OK. We will add the new layer to our table of contents. This layer will be used for both spatial join methods that we will introduce in a moment. Go ahead and remove both the table and the original zip code layer by right-clicking on the layer and clicking Remove. Now that we have added the Medicaid enrollment data to the zip code layer, we can move on to the second step, which is joining the zip code layer to the primary care HIPSA layer. There are two common methods used to join geographical layers such as zip codes and HIPSAs with boundaries that aren't compatible. The first method is based on the location of a zip code's geometric centroid. The second method is based on the proportions of the zip code's area that falls inside a HIPSA. For our purposes, we'll focus on the first method using geometric centroids. A centroid is displayed as a point on the map and contains all the zip code attributes. The location of the point is determined by the geometric center of the polygon shape area. It's important to mention that there are many ways to calculate centroids, but in this video, we'll use a geometric centroid. In order to create centroids, we'll convert our zip code layer to a point layer. To do this, open Arc Toolbox in the menu bar at the top of your screen. Then click on Data Management Tools, select Features, then click on Feature to Point. In the Input field, we'll select the zip code layer. In the Output Feature class field, we'll select a folder for our output. Then click Save. This tool generates geometric centroids by default. Now you can see that all the attributes in the zip code polygon layer are in the zip code point layer as well. Once you turn off the zip code polygon layer by unclicking the checkbox, you can see the position of the zip code points relative to the HIPSAs on the map. Each HIPSA covers multiple centroids. Therefore, we will have to aggregate the Medicaid enrollment counts by HIPSAs. The aggregation process will be done automatically when using the spatial join tool. To perform a spatial join, right-click on the layer which you want to join the data to. In our case, it will be the HIPSA layer. Click Join and Relates, then Join. Choose the option to join based on spatial location. Select the new point zip code layer which will be joined to the HIPSA layer. Keep the first option selected. Select Sum to add together all the numeric attributes in the zip code layer that fall inside a HIPSA including the Medicaid enrollment counts. You can also select the other options for summaries such as average, minimum, maximum, etc. Select a folder for your output in the Output Feature class field and click OK. We can see in the table that each HIPSA received the sum of the Medicaid enrollment counts from all zip codes whose geometric centroids fell within the HIPSA. Once the spatial join is completed, You'll want to export the outcome of the join in a format that can be opened outside of ArcMap. To do that, click Table Options in the top left corner of the table. Select Export, and save the table within a folder in a text or dbase format so you can import it into an Excel file. In our case, we'll name the file Medicaid Population by PC Hipsis. After you save the file, you can see the dbase file in the folder you selected. Open it by importing it or dragging it into a new Excel file.
Once you have ported the file into Excel, you can see all the attributes we have reviewed in ArcGIS. It's important to remember that there are limitations when you join two layers with different types of geographies. When the geographies overlap, you may end up overcounting or undercounting a particular attribute. For example, almost half of zip code 14807 covers HIPSA Medicaid eligible Greater Steuben, while the other half of the zip code covers Medicaid eligible Allegheny County. However, the centroid is located in Greater Steuben, which results in overcounting the Medicaid population in Greater Steuben and undercounting in Allegheny County. This issue becomes more problematic for smaller HIPSAs in urban areas that consist of census tracts because zip codes and HIPSAs will be more likely to overlap. To recap, here are the steps we took to join different geographic data sets in ArcGIS. First, we imported all files we needed into ArcGIS. In our case, we imported Medicaid enrollment data, a zip code feature class, and a primary care HIPSAs feature class. Second, we joined the Medicaid enrollment data to the zip code layer or feature class. Third, we join the zip code layer to the primary care HIPSA layer using the zip code's geometric centroid. Finally, we exported the results. To access the data sources that were used in this video, please visit the following links. If you have any questions regarding the content of this video, or need further assistance, please contact Nafeen Haroon at nharoon at albany.edu. This video is part of a series on using ArcGIS for health workforce research. This series was developed by the Health Workforce Technical Assistance Center.